Are you one of those people who love to play video games, but you just don't want to share the spotlight with everyone? Well, I'm kind of one of those people as well too. Introverts unite. I'm Jer, one half of the Gender Gaming Duel, and today I wanted to share my five most anticipated JRPG games coming out for 2023. I hope you are excited as just as I am because there are a lot of great games coming out this year. If you like where this is going, give us a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, don't get me wrong, I love playing games with people i just don't like doing it all the time anyone that's an introvert out there anyone and let's not forget the extroverts as well just because i'm an introvert and love playing video games by myself doesn't mean that extroverts can love this game as well there are a lot of amazing games that i played as a child from final fantasy chrono trigger and i just wanted to share some of the games that i feel like that are going to be an absolute joy to play when you want to experience those similar games as well my fifth anticipated game is going to be honkai star rail this is the latest project from hoyoverse and it is events happening throughout honkai impact the third i haven't played that game personally, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. It is basically going to be Genshin, but a turn-based JRPG game in space. It's a story about two crew members from the Astro Express March 7th and Dan Hang, and they're basically trying to deliver these rare relics to Herta, and these Void Rangers are basically attacking the train. It's going to be a free-to-play game with the same gotcha mechanics like Genshin Impact, and you're going to be playing a very similar type of game, but it's just going to be turn-based. Similar elements like Animo and Electro, it'll even have the similar UX and UI design that you'll be seeing on Genshin. So a lot of Genshin players, including myself, are going to be very comfortable transitioning into this game, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be coming out on April 26, 2023 for both the PC and mobile version. What better way to stay introverted and shun society away to this beautiful world of Final Fantasy? Well, except for Final Fantasy 14 because you can play that with hella people. You are set in Velistia and play as Clive, and even though he is supposed to be given powers of the Phoenix, fate gives it to his younger brother. Now, he doesn't possess his power, but he does have the ability to wield the power of the icons and i know what you're thinking what the hell are icons are they just things that are on your desktop or on your phone nah it's basically summons from the previous games like shiva odin and bahamut just to name a few along the way you'll encounter a group of friends a couple of unique things to point out is the game won't be an open world game so it's going to be very linear and a lot of people are familiar with an open world series and also you are only going to be playing as clive by himself Himself. You will have AI next to you, but you're literally going to be playing as one person. And it kind of actually gives me some similarities to even a Devil May Cry situation. This is going to be coming on June 22nd exclusively on the PlayStation 5 and eventually possibly the PC. My third anticipated game is going to be Aoden Chronicles 100 Heroes. It is the number one funded Kickstarter video game of 2020 with 4.5 million dollars from the creators of Konami's Sukaden, Shadow of Destiny, Castlevania, music from the Tale series as well, and even Star Ocean. I mean, I can't, I'm even running out of breath because there are so many amazing games and creators and publishers from this entire title. So it is basically a premise to the Iodin Chronicles Rising, which came out last year. And by the way, it is only $15. You can get this on the PC, you get it on the Switch, you can get it on the PlayStation and the Xbox. So super, super sweet deal if you wanted to get that right now. With so many people backing up this game and apparently you can play up to 100 plus characters in this game. Just hearing the music and even watching the gameplay reminds me a lot of my childhood. So basically there are a bunch of alliances throughout the land. You have humans, you have beastmen, you have elves, and you have desert people just to name a few. I feel like I'm basically playing a JRPG for Skyrim or even D&D. And just looking at the 2.5D graphics, I love how sharp the graphics look while utilizing amazing music to enhance the gameplay. I cannot wait to check this out. And again, it is going to be coming out later this year, sometime in 2023. Another Kickstarter game from Sabotage Studios that I will definitely be getting and was backed with over $1.6 million. And from the creators of my favorite classics, including Chrono Trigger, 
Chrono Cross and Xenoplay Chronicles comes Sea of Stars. This game looks absolutely amazing and you can actually even play the demo on the Nintendo Switch. It's a JRPG turn-based game and it screams so much of these games that I've played as a childhood. It's a story of two children of the solstice who combine powers of the sun and the moon to perform eclipse magic and they need to fight off these monstrous creations of an evil alchemist. I actually got a chance to play this game on the Nintendo Switch and you can actually get yourself this demo as well too. The autonomy of the moving in the vast areas, the turn-based combat, the extremely rich story just a few minutes alone was surely something that you do not want to miss and Sea of Stars comes out on August 29th on the PC, the PlayStation, and the Nintendo Switch. And my final most anticipated JRPG game of 2023 is going to be Drum roll, please. It's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is the second installment of Final Fantasy VII Remake, which came out three years ago during the pandemic. This game comes to me very personally as I love the franchise as a child, especially VII, which is my favorite one of all time. But looking at the trailer, it shows Cloud and Sephiroth going through some very familiar areas as they leave Midgar into the open world. We also see Zack from Crisis Core, who is carrying Cloud, and we don't know what will be happening as the story has changed compared to the original game however we will be following up with the integrated dlc which is where we left off from the game you don't need to play remake or the 97 version before this but i would encourage you to try it out if possible so you can immerse yourself in the experience final fantasy rebirth is coming out in 2023 and possibly even next year for the ps5 exclusively and i cannot wait to get this game comment below and let us know what your favorite jrpg games that are coming out this year maybe i've missed a few maybe you're an introvert like me who enjoys playing games by themselves as well i'm personally really really stoked for final fantasy 16 sea of stars and final fantasy rebirth but you really cannot go wrong with any of these titles if you love what you see give us a like comment and subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching this video and we hope you have a great rest of your day or night bye bye y'all